Hi everybody, this is Jenny Guthrie with Glow Medical Aesthetics here again for another edition of Beauty For Real. I have Miss Paige with me today who has been kind enough to take some time out of her busy schedule to answer some questions. So over time, we, I've ask, always asked ladies about how your perception of beauty has changed over time. So, you know, just thinking back maybe from when you were younger or even five years ago, uh, over time, what does the, how has the perception you've had of beauty changed? I think that I've always probably been a little bit different than everybody else. I, I've always seen beauty on the inside of people. But as far as beauty, um, to look at it, I think it's like natural. Mm -hmm. The more you can do to make yourself look healthy, natural things, um, keep in, just people that look healthy and natural are really beautiful people. Mm -hmm. And what about, um, what does it mean to you now at this point in your life? Like when you hear that you're beautiful or you think about your own beauty, what, what does that mean to you? I know that I'm lucky to be able to do the things that I can do for my skin, use the products and do the things to look younger and feel more beautiful mm -hmm. at my age. Yeah. What, um, the, the Bible verse that I'm using for this is Proverbs 15:30. That talks about it says, "The eyes that focus on what is beautiful bring joy to the heart, and hearing a good report refreshes and strengthens the inner being." Because ultimately, you know, I do. I think beauty is internal, and it comes, you know, external. And so that's just part of why I've done this because I want to share with other women um, things that are beautiful. So I always ask a brief question about what role has GLOW played for you in beauty? Confidence, for sure. Mm -hmm. Confidence. And also, I really do love all you girls. Mm -hmm. I really do. You're we all, appreciate I mean, that. I just, I, and I really do look forward to coming. So I feel like we've formed friendships, not Absolutely. only. Well, we look forward um, to seeing you, too. Well, I know you, <laughs> you look forward to seeing everyone. I know that. It's clear when I'm in here and other people are in. I'm always yeah. really comfortable. And um. So confidence, we've played a role in your confidence. Anything else? Um, but that's a pretty big one. I mean, I, confidence I think that's is huge. I, because I agree with you, beauty does come from within. But if you're confident, then you can carry yourself. Mm -hmm. if you just feel, even on the inside, you feel prettier. Yeah, I think and people the that confidence are confidence to go and and do things. I think people that are confident make better decisions. Oh, for sure. Different decisions yes. than somebody who's insecure and not confident. So I think even just normal day-to-day -day decisions that we make sometimes can be impacted by our own confidence. I know that's true for me, you know, so I know it has to be true for other people. I have also noticed that women of the, of the younger generations, people, are, they're all more accepting of um, different types of beauty. Yeah. That's true. Than generations ago when mm -hmm. I was younger and there was a whole lot of women really um, against each other. I think now you see more women standing together. Yeah. And that's beautiful also. Absolutely. Uh, I think there's an ad campaign that the company, I think it's Aerie, does. And I was in their dressing room not too long ago. And they had, some of their models actually had surgical scars or different, you know, things that we would call imperfections, but they were highlighting them as part of their beauty instead of airbrushing it away. And I thought I, that was really refreshing for me. It really me. is. And again, that leads to women that aren't perfect, and none of us are. No. Uh, be, being able to be confident if you do have a big, ugly scar, you know, if, if you were burned as a child or uh, born without a limb or... Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So we... It gives people that are, that would otherwise, generations ago, not felt beautiful. Yeah. I think that nowadays they're just allowed to... Be who they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. I think that's a good thing. Yes, I think it's a great thing. So out of sometimes things in our lives that are not beautiful or that are difficult, I think as we go through those things, those are opportunities for us to find beauty. So can you tell me maybe about a time or a season in your life when things weren't beautiful, but now looking back on them, beauty has come out of that? Um, I don't want to get too emotional. I, am, I have a disease and I'm bald, and it can be really, really ugly. Yeah. Um, but out of 
that I have found confidence mm-hmm. and learned to be okay. Yeah. And to even feel beautiful. Yeah. Without a wig on. Without, yeah. You know, in years I didn't have eyelashes. Um, and it wasn't the hair. It wasn't the eyelashes. It was... It was the vanity. Hmm. And I was allowed to lose a whole lot of vanity. And, and I was allowed to become really accepting of myself and everyone else. Even yeah. more so. Well, I think it's was. hard to accept other people if you can't accept yourself. That's, yes. You know? Yeah. And so that's sometimes... You have to accept and love yourself or you don't have anything to give anyone else. That's exactly right. Because I think that's a difficult place to be. You know, if you don't accept yourself. Uh, and I think we're always our own worst critics. And I talk a lot about people that have negative self-talk. You know, if you're speaking internally to yourself uh, in a way that if somebody externally spoke to you that you would not take it, then you need to change the way you're thinking about yourself because it's not acceptable for you to talk as bad or talk bad about yourself when you wouldn't allow a friend or somebody else to do that either. Um, But sometimes we don't stand up to ourselves in that regard and you have to kind of stand up to yourself. I think this is one of the reasons that you and I connected, I felt like when we first met, because because I tell younger girls all the time, tell your son, pick a few things, that a few sentences that are really positive about yourself and say them, and say them over and over and over in your head all day long. Mm-hmm. And when you either start to say a negative thought or after you do, change it. Yeah. Just change it immediately, and eventually you will feel more confident, more beautiful. Yeah. Which is, I think, what we all want. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, yeah, I think you're absolutely beautiful. You're beautiful on the outside, and you're beautiful on the inside. And I appreciate you taking time to talk with me today and sit down and kind of share your story, because that takes courage and confidence, which you've learned along the way. So that's good. Be around people like you, though. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, you, you've helped that along. You're really positive and really. Yeah. Well, you you know I learn from you as well. So I learn as much from. I think as women we all should. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, we should. So, thank you for taking time to watch. We really appreciate. Uh, you being with us. If you have any questions about Glow Medical Aesthetics, please check out our website at www.glowmedicaltulsa.com or you can give us a call or text us at 918-927-2618.